Matthew 21 through 14 through no, that's 41 through 46. They answered, He will put the wrenches to miserable death and will lease the vineyard to the other tenant farmers who will, will pay the him his share each season. So this is what the disciples were replying because he asked him what they would do. And this is what normally would have been done. But those that would kill these servants would have been put to death and then the landowner would have allowed somebody else more responsible to take care of it. Now, um, Jesus said to them, Did you never read in scriptures the stone which the builder rejected has become chief cornerstone? This is the Lord's doing, and it fills our eyes with wonder. Okay, Jesus is the building stone. The church is built upon Him. Church, the church is built upon faith on Him. Built by faith on Him. Now the builders are the church. And the builders can't do it. I mean, if you build without, you got to build with the cornerstone. You can't just build and just leave it there because that wouldn't be the cornerstone anymore. And if you build it off with the cornerstone, the whole thing's going to be tilted. So we got to trust in Jesus as we build the church. So you're saying if you just you're saying if you just put Jesus down, then it ain't church. No. Really? Well, you build it up. Because it'd just be a cornerstone that you say. Yeah. Be but if you try to build something off the cornerstone, it's going to fall over. That's what some of these things are going to do. Some days, because they don't got Jesus in them. You know what's strange? I just got thought something. If the cornerstone is just sitting there, now this is this is a, almost a puzzle. This is a mind puzzle. Yeah. Okay. If you put the cornerstone down, that Jesus did. Yeah. We'll just we'll just say cornerstone. We won't say Jesus. We'll just pretend like it's a building. Yeah. We're not gonna get Jesus in. But you put a cornerstone down, and you leave it sitting there, and you're saying, okay, this is the cornerstone. And somebody said, well, there's, there's nothing built on it. Yeah. So it's just a. Yeah, it's just a stone. It's just, it's not really a cornerstone because in order to be a cornerstone, there yeah. has to be stuff built on it. Yeah. So it's just a stone. Yeah. Now, Jesus, it ain't that way. No. Now, the, the people who came, the servants represent the prophets in this parable because they came and spoke and people heard the message and they, some of them were killed and some of them were persecuted. Now the son represents Jesus in this parable. Okay, I tell you, therefore, that the kingdom of God will be taken from you and will be given to a people who produces its fruit. Okay. The Gentiles can come to faith because the Jews rejected. Now this doesn't necessarily mean the Jews can't come to faith. The problem the Jews had is they couldn't put Jesus before the law. Whoever falls on that stone will be smashed. On whom it falls, he shall be pulverized. Ground into powder. Yeah, and nobody's been able to defeat the church. Nobody's been able to do away with it. Nobody's Rome tried. Rome fell apart. Because of it is split down the middle. What do you believe it means when it says, "He that shall fall on the church shall be say broken"? Yeah. What do you think that means? And then the other one says, "Ground and powder of the church falls on." What do you think that's talking about? I think one's trying to use the church to, for their own gain and purpose, and the other's trying to. Get rid of the church. Hmm. Because there's some that try to go into church and say, well, 
I ain't gonna be destroy it, but I can go and corrupt it. That's happened. So you think those are the ones who fall? Yeah. Because they're, yeah. You think you think something Christians? Yeah, like no. I used to wonder. I used to wonder if it's talking about the people who fall on this stone shall be broken. I always wanted to talk about people. That could be, because that could be about being broken in your spirit and coming to the faith. Or for people who get saved yeah. and or the Christians who need to be Because broken. your old self dies. So yeah, it could be in a way, but so it could broken. also be referring to the lost. But then the, the lost getting saved by, yeah. by falling yeah. on the stone and being broken. But now when the, but, but if the stone falls on you, That's it's judgment. ground in the yeah. That's almost like being fired. Yeah, that's talking about going to hell. When the first, when the chief priests and the Pharisees heard his parables, they knew he was talking about them. They actually got it from us. But they didn't get it enough. They just got it enough to be like, he's talking about us. He is of the devil. He started whining and complaining and hating them. And they wanted to arrest him. But they were afraid of the crowds since they considered him to be a prophet. Okay, this shows where the Pharisees' true power came from. The people's fear. And it shows it in the story of John with the blind man who got healed. They had the power to throw people out of the synagogue, which pretty much removed them from the society. There's very few things they'd be able to do. And people feared that. And that's where their power was. Well, if you, if you want to stay in the synagogue, you got to do this, you got to do this, you got to do this. And people did that because they were scared they'd be thrown out. But people were overcoming their fear because they saw what Jesus was. They were like, well, and somebody acted, because people, very few people spoke up against what the Pharisees did. John the Baptist did it. They took care, took care, removed him. And so the, their power comes from the fear. And Jesus is love. And love's more effective. These people are following Jesus because he was something different. And he spoke of love. The Pharisees spoke of obedience, all this. His more, their things was more of a to-do list. Yeah. It usually benefited them. Yes. Now, um... A couple, few more chapters. It's working up to the death. Which this is clearly probably the last year. Yeah, that's 